How's it going guys? This is David with Joe's Gaming and Electronics. I will be replacing the Bluetooth PCB on the Beats Studio to wireless headphones. This repair should fix most Bluetooth issues. If you think this repair is too difficult, you can send them in to our repair center to be repaired by a professional. You can also purchase necessary parts and tools for the repair linked in this video. So let's begin. I'll be using these tools here a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and this pry tool. So the new Bluetooth board I have here, I'll be replacing it. So to begin, you'll need to know where the Bluetooth board is located. It's located on the left side of the headphones, so right under this panel here. First thing you want to do is remove this ear pad here so use the pry tool and pry up the ear pad just like that it's on adhesive double-sided tape next you can see there's five screws here you remove those with the Phillips screwdriver once you got those screws unscrewed you can pop the speaker up like this and now we can see that there's two wires here that are soldered to the speaker and this wire here you can just pull out just like that and you can go ahead and unsolder this speaker get that out of the way next you would want to remove all this unnecessary tape here that they have it's covering the wires get rid of that you won't be using that and grab your flat head screwdriver and remove this tape here there is a hidden screw underneath unscrew it all right so at this point, we're able to remove this housing here just by pulling, pulling it up. Don't pull it too hard, you don't want to rip any of these wires. And kind of move it to the side so you're able to unscrew the next four screws located right underneath. Go ahead and unscrew those screws. All right, that's the four screws. Now we will need to remove this little tab here. I usually just pry this up with a flathead screwdriver. Just like that. Now we're able to pull apart these two panels. And here you are, you can see that there are wires clipped to the board. You don't want to unplug them. So unplug all of the wires, except for the black and red wire that's here. You just kind of want to pull on it, to give it a little bit of slack. And now pull this panel down and just like that. Now we have access to the Bluetooth board that we'll be replacing. So usually these this wire here, this red and black one is super glued to this port. But if you're lucky enough, you can get that out. You could also heat it up with a heat gun to remove, which is a, what I'll probably be doing. So to remove the Bluetooth board from the outside panel, you'll need to unscrew these four screws. And you can pull that up. Now we have access to the back side of the Bluetooth board. There's this little anti-static film over it. You can remove that. At this point, we'll want to get 
have access to these points here, you'd want to remove this glue that's on top of the points. I usually use this flathead screwdriver to remove that. All right, we got that removed. Now what we want to do is unsolder all these wires here. So before you unsolder this last wire here, you want to make sure your headphones are powered off. And get that powered off. And go ahead and unsolder that. And there we go. So now we'll be soldering on this new board. I'll pull up my schematics. And I'll solder on the new board. So when you solder this wire, you start seeing lights flicker, which means you have a successful soldering job on the first main wires you got. Go ahead and power that off again. It should power on by itself. And continue soldering. Uh, we got this all these wires so soldered on now what we want to do is remove this little wire that's attached to the old Bluetooth board and attach it to the new one Now we want to remove this here. I'll go heat up this point. So if this wire doesn't want to come out, you don't want to heat it up. And it should come off fairly easily. So that's the old board. Now what we're going to do is install these outside panel. So this little wire here fits right into this groove. Push that in and place the board down. And now you can screw this board in to the panel. Okay, we got that screwed in. At this point, uh, if your little rubber piece here fell out, you can just place that back in. Clip in the wires into the board. So this red and black one goes up here towards the top of the board. The red and red and white wire clips here to the side of the board. And the larger AUX wire clips to the bottom. Just like that. So place the hinge onto the outside panel here. Make sure your wires are in this formation here, kind of like a zigzag. 
and at this point we'll be sliding see how my panel isn't completely this this attached we'll be sliding this panel onto the board so just slide it down as far as it goes and extend the hinge a few times I want to make sure none of the wires have popped out. Extend the wire as far as it goes and the other just like this. And now we can screw in this panel here. All right, got those four screws in. Now we will be aligning these rubber mesh into the this housing here. Make sure you have a perfect align. Flip that over and screw in the center screw here that we removed previous. All right, once we got that, screwed in we will be pushing these this rubber mesh in with the pry tool so uh, I just like to use this end of the pry tool and just go ahead and push the rubber in along the this back side here Now that we have that mesh pushed in, we can install this tab here. And finally, we can install the speaker. So solder on this red and white wire. And should be good to go. Place the speaker down. Make sure no wires are in the way. They're laying down flat. And go ahead and screw in the five screws that we unscrewed. Okay. And finally, install the ear pad. If you're tape here is damaged or got removed you can purchase some ear pad tape from our store linked in the video so install that there we go and as you can tell the Bluetooth light is blinking here so we are good to go there you have it, a Studio 2 wireless Bluetooth board replacement. Usually these things do go bad after a certain time. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below or email us. Thanks, for, so thanks again for watching.